Where were you when that uh, Air India plane was hijacked? Indian Airlines plane was hijacked. I was in Delhi. I just landed in Delhi. Hmm. Well, a month two before. From an assignment. Mm hmm. Of posting. Yeah, posting. What went wrong then? Simply not being able to take the right decision at the right time. And that's very crucial, right? In the intelligence world. Yeah. No, once the hijacking has occurred, to prevent it from going further, uh, you have to take a decision like like you. The the station commander of the aerodrome knows that airport knows that when a hijack takes place, you have to make every attempt to prevent that. Put a bowser in front of the aircraft or whatever. Then the fear is that if the hijackers say, if you do that, I'll kill six people or I'll kill ten. What do you do? If that happens, then uh, everybody will blame the station commander. So you you pass the buck. I'll ask the commissioner, I'll ask the deputy commissioner, commissioner, chief secretary, uh, chief minister. How do you enforce that order which exists in your book that you have to do this? And if the plane, had, God forbid, if they had blown up the plane, all dead, nobody will ever say that he was acting according to rules. Uh, one has heard about how the Indian and uh, uh, Pakistani spy chiefs meet at different locations. Baate hoti hain, whiskey piya jata hai, bon homie. And then wapas aake, it's business as usual? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've been to one of those meetings, one or two of those meetings, to early days of retirement, nothing to do. You so ordered their people to be killed, they've ordered our people to be killed. Yeah. And still you can talk. Yeah, I mean, it's strange, isn't it? So we met and I found after the second meeting, it was unreal. I mean, you just glib talk and you say the same thing. Everybody says the same thing, standard positions. And we say we will do it. It's good to meet and chat. Where do things get stuck? Kashmir or more? No, I think it's the whole mindset. It's the whole mindset. Kashmir, to me, is the uh, excuse. The Pakistan army finds Kashmir as a useful tool to retain supremacy in Pakistan. If you take Kashmir, if you, there's an article once Fahad Hussain had written many, many years ago that what if Pakistan, India and Pakistan come to an agreement and what if, for argument's sake, the Pakistan and the Indians say, yeah, take it, take Kashmir. What will you do? Then the answer is, then we will say that now we've got more territory to defend against these uh, wretched Indians, so we must expand. We must have bigger army. We must have more weapons. So they said they'll turn the equation around. Nothing will change in the Pakistan army because nothing will change in the Pakistan mindset. Click here to watch the full episode.